check it out. It's r2youtube.com. That's r the number two youtube.com and tell them Velvet sent you. Oh yeah. Welcome to the 25th edition of Michigan Independent Weekly. There's five independent wrestling events throughout the state of Michigan this weekend. Once again, we are going to bless you with the information about the event. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> already, already, man. Did you? What did you do to make him mad? I didn't do anything this time. Maybe he's still mad from you beating him with them thunder sticks at BCWA. I did spend all weekend with him. That would irritate just about yeah. anyone. If you're catching this episode on Facebook, please head on over to r2youtube.com to subscribe. And as always, don't forget to smash the thumbs up and please share this on your social media. Last weekend, there were two shows, BCWA on Saturday the 15th and XICW on Sunday the 16th. Those are some awesome shows and we didn't do Wrestle Rage. You want to talk about that? Oh, yeah. First up, we went to BCWA in Wyandotte at the Copeland Center. Always a good show down there. Packed house. Packed oh, house. Packed, packed house. house. It was packed, packed house. and then they added more chairs, and then it was packed again, and, and then people were more, standing, and yeah. they still like And then they added in. more chairs, and they added more chairs, and then they ran out of chairs, and then they had more people. Which is why you get those VIP tickets. That's there right. You know. That's right. Yeah, Even if it's it. 15 minutes early, that's still a seat. <laughs> you get in there at five o'clock. You get that VIP match. Get your you get your seats. You know, squared away. You ain't gotta worry about fighting people about your seats. And that whole show, the first 15 minutes of it was worth 15 bucks. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah for sure. Uh, definitely a good night. Colt Cabana was in the house for the main event mm -hmm. against Frogun and Justin Maine. We had what the a shot. Yeah, you had the alliance controversial shot. Yeah, yeah, we had the alliance title on the line as my homeboy, my personal homeboy, the Dread King Logan, defended against Isaiah Bronner, Mitch Hewitt, and uh, who was the other one there? Isaiah Bronner, Mitch Carl. Hewitt, Carl, Carl, Carl. 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 Yeah, and uh, man, you know, always and, and always and, and forever and forever, and we also sat down with him. After his match, the Dread King Logan. So look for that on Wednesday. Uh, I told you guys it wasn't just me. He was <laughs> mad at Josh, too. Yeah, See, yeah, yeah. It wasn't just me. Everybody thinks I'm the bad guy. It wasn't me. Uh, hey, now, he said no one's allowed to pick on me anymore, though. Right. Now, Ely was originally... <laughs> Ely said he was originally... <laughs> the dude told on me? You told on me? Yeah, I told on you. You told on me. You guys didn't delete the... Me calling them peasants. I have nothing to do with the editing of this show. <laughs> you were in on it, though. What? I had. That's the whole reason you wanted to drive on Saturday, so that way when I was dead, you didn't have to worry about getting back. <laughs> yeah, but you seen them on Sunday, too. Yeah, that's true. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, another thing about that show was that Electric Ely was a originally scheduled Ooh. to take on... I, Say it again. Osbondius. As that that word. And but one of the scariest guys in Michigan. For some reason he wasn't there. I don't know why. Probably and, had to get his bandages changed. And surprisingly, another member of the DTA came out. One of the scariest guys in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, if maybe if, the scariest if guy. If DBA is the, the the most dangerous, Aaron Orion's definitely the most scariest man uh -huh. in Michigan. Uh Aaron Orion came in. And big news, Ely gets the W. I don't want to say Ooh. it was an even bigger shot than seeing Aaron Orion there. Mm -hmm. But uh, well, you know what? Ely just wouldn't stay down. No. You know, he no. just kept fighting. No. He just kept no. coming back. And we did record that match. And uh, that definitely will be up on the channel at some point. <clears throat> so make sure you look for that. Uh, but, you know, some of the... Big, big news coming out of BCWA is we have a new BCWA champion, but a controversial win. No, nonetheless, very controversial. there's several pictures coming out online that shows both men with their shoulders on the mat. Right. Uh, so in that instance, if both men's shoulder are on and the three count happens, wouldn't the champ retain? No, that means both men got pinned and Colt Boom Boom Command gets the championship. That's not the way it works. Both men get pinned. 
Colt Boom Boom Cabana did you not get pinned. He gets the, the he gets the gold. Yeah, I guess. If you get pinned, you don't get the gold. Yeah, definitely a good night in Wyandotte. Nice job, referee. <laughs> it was definitely. Hold on. Now I can be a referee. There you go. Yeah, that that ref, I tell you. One. I wonder what, you know, I I really think that the refs in BCWA, there's something going on there. There's I something going do, on. Somebody's I think they do somebody. fun preschool. Ha, <laughs> ha. Then on Sunday, Josh drove. I drove Saturday. You drove Sunday. We went to XICW, Boot and Ground, Season 7, Episode 6 at the Hot Rocks in Warren, Michigan. Another good time. A different kind of good time than BCW. Oh, yeah. Always a good time. Definitely a good time. And we did have a blast. There was many, many good matches. Uh, You know, the big news, you know, well, I wouldn't say big news, but everybody knew the big, the match. You know, you had MM3 versus Hyena Hagen. We talked about that match quite a bit, you know, Worth leading the price up to of it. admissions by itself. Right. Uh, Until the end. So, yeah, well, my heartstrings, it had me by the heartstrings. They got me. And they had me by the heartstrings. And I really, really thought that Hyena Hagen was going to get that W. And, uh, Members of the Cure Clan came out and uh, distracted, and also, you know, kind of laid a smacketh down. Yeah, we ain't seen a beat down like that in a long time. Right, and MM3 comes out on top with a W, but then afterwards, he reaches <laughs> his hand out and he says, Welcome to the Cure Clan. So now, jump in. Hyena Hagen is now a brand new member of the Cure Clan. Yikes. Josh's man. Josh's man. But I say he couldn't have made a smarter business move. Yeah. Uh, you know, you surround yourself with, with whether you like them or not, the greatness. I mean, really, come on, look at who's on there. You know, who's yeah. in the care clan. You surround yourself with greatness, you set the bar high, and you'll get there. Absolutely. Plus, you got Johnny Delicious now. I mean, yeah. how can that hurt High in the Hagen at all to have Johnny Delicious in this corner? Yeah, oh, I, and I this agree makes with him that. Definitely more dangerous. I, I, I don't know. That's that's up for debate at this point, right now. You know, it, the big thing of proving ground is the wrestling with a vet, right? We had four teams left. Had four had teams. Four had, teams. Four had, had four teams left, and you see them pictured there: Mysterious Movado. With the Electric Ely. Mysterious Muscle. Mysterious Muscle. You had the Art of War, which is uh, the Suplex Shogun, Sean Tyler. You have Warboy with TJ or TJ Meyer. And then you have Weaponized or we- uh, Master Alex Weir with Adam Wick. And going home Sunday was Mysterious Muscle. Now, I have to. It was sad to see them go. But what I want to bring attention to is a team that lost, took the highest ranking. Yeah, uh, Adam or uh, Adam Wick and, yeah, and Weir. Yeah, and Master Weir. And not only that, Adam Wick pulled double duty that night. Uh-huh. And so did Aaron Orion. Yes. Well, and not just, this is the, what, the second week or the second month in a row that Master Alex and Adam have been tip top. Yeah. Right at the top. Yeah. Well, because it's. Weaponized Master Weir and Adam Wick. They're the tip top. They're the tippity tip tip top. Yeah. You know, and there was a big match. It was a six man tag. You had the fun loving criminals along with their partner <laughs> RC3. RC3 mm-hmm. taking on Dickie Watts, Willie Watts, and El Ridiculoso. Now, I think I got a touch of the man flu. And uh, you do have the man flu. You are kind of sick. I think last night I started seeing things. So yeah. I was wondering if Tell you guys could you guys confirm if this actually happened or not. Um, did DBA hike up his thong and then shove his butt into Dickie Watt's face? I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, he did. Did. Did El Ridiculoso and the Watts lose that match? Yes. Did El Ridiculoso 
kick Willie Watts and the Willie Watts? Yes. Yes. So I didn't imagine any of that. No. Oh, thank Except God. Except for the DBA part. See, oh, see, yeah. I saw nothing DBA. You Well, everybody else saw something. I saw nothing. See, his retinas must be detached. These, these, these two do not speak for me. No. They well, are official statements of MIW, though. Again, the Dread King Logan had another match against Isaiah Broner. Who what a fight. Oh, man. What a fight. He put Broner into a table that didn't give at all. No. That was a pretty nasty match, but Broner came out on top with the W, you know, and the Dread King uh, met the Book of Truth. Oh, you know, our, our, our buddy, our buddy Greg got a, a perfect shot of that suplex on the floor. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. that was yeah. nasty. Good stuff. I think the floor is the one that really lost that suplex. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. I do believe you can find that on the, uh, the MIW group page, correct? I don't know. Oh, I yes. I, I, I watched it, it five there. times. Yes? Yeah. But always a good time at XICW Proving Ground. The next one's coming up here in March. You're going to want to head on over to XICW.info. I believe it's slash tickets for the ticket section of the site, but you can just go to .info, click on tickets on the top, and you can check it out and get your tickets, GA. and uh, I think the booths are sold out. Right? Booths, oh, are, the booths always are always sold out. Booths sell out three seconds right. after they go live. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good luck with that. You know, and there's two shows coming up in the month of March yes. for XICW, and we're going to be at both. So, you know, check that out. How do you know we're going to be at both? Because we've already it. bought our tickets, there because that's what you have to do. Yes. First show this week is on a Thursday, February 20th, and is going down in Monroe. Mr. Everything goes down in Monroe. Everything or everyone? Everything, everything and everyone. <laughs> and you know this because the ice cream from is really Monroe. Good. Are you from Monroe? No, no. <laughs> Get on your knees. Bow. No, I'm good. Peasant. I'm good. Wait a minute. What There's are you only one person. About? We're talking about the Dread King. There's only one person that can tell me to bow. He might be your homeboy, but you're not him. <laughs> <laughs> this promotion just so happens to be owned by former WWE and current Impact Superstar Rhino, as you see on the flyer there. That's right. Tickets for this event are available on purplepass.com. Slash MPW FOP2. If you can say that seven times Dose. fast. Prices for those tickets are as follows. VIP front row, $20. VIP second row, $15. General admission, $10. Kids are five bucks. Doors are scheduled to open at 630 for VIP. And the general admission doors open at Seven. Also scheduled to appear is none other than Shane Douglas. The franchise. The franchise. Friday, February 21st, going down in New Baltimore, Michigan at the Diesel Concert Lounge. Rising Action Wrestling presents Friday Night Fire. Tickets for this event are only 12 bucks. That wasn't too bad. I like that. <laughs> if I did it. I'd get a face. He does it, and no, he gets, oh, that's not too no, bad. No, I would appreciate that. At least it ain't It's like the other one. Hand. Yeah. Okay. What'd you say, Doris? Did you say Doris? No. No? He, no, he interrupted. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I finish? You can finish. Thank you. can you. finish now. Doors for this event are scheduled for 8 p.m. 8 p.m. That's right. Last month at Friday Night Fire. <sighs> there you go. <laughs> you did that on purpose. Jexy Black signed a contract for a triple threat match. What she got wasn't exactly that. I keep hearing all this talk about Shayla Hyde out here running her mouth about how she beat me last month. Now, while Shayla did pin me, she did absolutely nothing to earn it. I would have gracefully taking that L from Valentina Loco because at least she had the ovarian fortitude to step between those ropes and actually fight me. Unlike Shayla, who stood at ringside for the entirety of the match like a class A jabroni. Now maybe I'm crazy. Maybe, maybe I'm crazy, but when I signed on the dotted line, I agreed to a triple threat match. Not Jexy versus Valentina with Shayla Hyde at ringside. And with as much as that pisses me off, it's okay. 
it's okay because actions have consequences. And February 21st, Shayla will see the consequences of those actions. On February 21st, she will have to step between those ropes. There will be nowhere for her to run. There will be nowhere for her to hide. Bulvarian fortitude. <laughs> I'm going to keep that hey, one. you know what? It's the 21st century. Hey. Never Bulvarian works. fortitude, I guess. Last month, Hyena Hagen was attacked after his match. Yeah, he was. <laughs> hyena, hyena, hyena. Now, I've seen the little video put up talking a big game, talking about the Gold Rush of Minnesota, talking about the match that you and I had February 21st at the Diesel Concert Lounge for Friday Night Fire. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. But yeah, I did stab you in the back, but I did it for good reason. I did it because you can't hang with the savage society. You don't have what it takes. So I came back from injury to show you who's boss, to show you that daddy's home, and to show you that I run this. Well, I've seen The Lion King, and I'm sure you have too. But it's that one dumb, cross-eyed little hyena. And just like him, you're pretty dumb too, because if you think you're going to defeat me, you got another thing coming. There's going to be heartbreak, and we're going to be one member short. And I'm pretty sure Garrett's going to go home crying, but that is fine, and that is tough love. And on February 21st, I'm going to kick your ass, because I am here to stay, and I'm here for good. And after that, I'm going to chase some gold for myself. Keep that in mind, because I will see you there. I gotta go get this little kink out of my shoulder and go visit the Asian Massage Parlor. <laughs> what do you think? Will Hyena Hagen get his revenge this month? I sure do hope so. Well, I guess we're gonna find out Friday night at Friday Night Fire. Remember, it's this Friday, the 21st. 21st? New Baltimore, Michigan. Diesel Concert Lounge. Bam, bam, bam. Friday, Friday, Friday. I think I'm rubbing off on you guys. Unfortunately. <laughs> also going down on Friday, February 21st, Horror Slam will be live from the Lincoln Park VFW Hall. Last month, Asmodeus and Cody's personal homeboy defeated the Detroit Punks to become the new Horror Slam Tag Team Champions. And now you will be graced with words from our king and Asmodeus. He is not worthy. <laughs> Either are you. <laughs> Horror Slam February 21st. Asmodeus and I fight Detroit punks. You're looking at two of the most dominant destructive forces Horror Slam has ever seen. Asmodeus and I are going to rip you apart, limb from limb. <laughs> Mitch, you had to upgrade yourself to some worthless soul named Nolan. <laughs> That's going to go to you no good. You can have Jesus Christ himself come down here. We are unstoppable. You are barking up the wrong tree. And if you want us to dominate you one more time, <laughs> so be it. If the good lord himself came down, we would fight him too. <laughs> Honestly, I feel bad for Mitch and Nolan Edwards, but I'd feel bad for anyone that has to face them as a tag team. Amen yeah, to that. They're monsters. For sure. But that's not the only tag team action going down that night.
Okay, LeBron. Okay, okay. Short, sweet, and to the point. Yeah, they're not sure. men of words, but they're men of action. That is that is proven fact. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, most champions put their blood, sweat, and tears into their championship reign. Jeff King has put his blood, his blood, his sweat, his blood, his tears, and his blood into the belt. Jeff King has some words for the champion MM3. The champion. The wow. champion. Well, you know, I, I think really he's put probably other people's tears. <laughs> MM3. You call yourself Hard Slam Champion. You haven't beat anybody. You haven't defeated anybody for the right to be champion. I have bled. I have broken bones, and I have almost died in the ring for this championship. So come this Friday, when you step into the ring with me, it is now personal. Malcolm Monroe III, you see, I'm going to take that so-called horse slam championship. I'm going to beat you wrap it around my waist, and then I will feel like Every show has a match that's the price of the ticket. That match right there is the reason I'm going. That's the price of the ticket. This is Horror Slam. Tickets are $25 for the front row. Tables in general are $20. Doors are set to open at 7 p.m. Capital Pro Wrestling presents Wrestling at the Fledge in Lansing. Saturday, February 22nd. Tickets for the event are just $15 at the door or $12 in advance. Visit their Facebook page or check out our spreadsheet in the MIW group for the ticket link. Doors open at 3 p.m. with the bell scheduled to ring at 3.30. This will be the tapings for the first round of the Great Lakes Television Title Tournament. It's like a stacked card. Oh, yeah. Josh Raymond versus Movado. That's it. That's all you need to know. Tommy Vendetta will be there. Sweet. On Sunday, February 23rd, Sanctuary Fight Club goes down at the Sanctuary in Detroit. Scheduled to, to appear are Mysterious Mavada, Rahit Raju, Gregory Iron, Jake Something, Zach Gowan, Dan Housen. <laughs> Like that, that dude reminds me he's like my personal sleep paralysis demon could you imagine just waking up in the middle of the night and just see it, having him look at you oh. well maybe i don't know and several great independent talents tickets for this event can be purchased on ticket web or the sanctuary box office pre-sale tickets only 15 bucks 15 bucks for just the, and that's not even everybody on that's gonna be there oh no. Why why are you got that evil laugh? Dead Housen. This <laughs> guy. How am I supposed to work with this guy? Oh, Danny's having nightmares tonight. How much is the real ticket? Every freaking time tonight. <laughs> Every time. Let me do my job. Pre-sales 15 or 20 at the door. Doors open at 6 p.m. That's early enough that you can still get a good night's sleep. I don't want you thinking about me and my bed, okay? <laughs> MIW and Wrestling Rage are looking for new sponsors. Could be you. That's correct. If you're a business owner, please contact any one of us for sponsorship details. Don't forget, MIW has an awesome group on Facebook. With tons of Michigan independent wrestling content, just search Michigan Independent Weekly on Facebook and join today. That's right. Do you realize that you went this whole episode and you didn't say a single thing about Happy Harper? You didn't say anything about Happy Harper's new DBA heat challenge 
DBA, the most dangerous ice cream from Michigan. So after this, after we say goodbye, we'll have a word from Tommy Vendetta about the heat challenge. He told you. I've never ever felt that kind of heat from you, Josh. Is there like a mean bone on your body? There is. <laughs> Do I want to know which one? It is? I told you. I rub it out, buddy. Well, thank you for joining us. We're your hosts, Dan, Josh, and Cody with Michigan, Michigan Independent, Independent Weekly. Weekly. Fire. Oh. What, what Just is when it? I thought he was doing all right. What one was that? It's an old song. What what was the what is the name of the song? I don't know. Fire. Lord help me. Now you know how I feel. <laughs> I'm an expert farm animal guard. Ah! Ah! I told you. Oh, I don't know. Is your dad hot? This is wrestling rage. Do it now. This is wrestling rage. This is wrestling rage. Cody Fleming is the man who leads the brigade. Let's go down. This is wrestling rage. Do it now. This is wrestling rage. This is wrestling rage. 